I was just five days away from the day of the final talk. Repeatedly asking myself this question, what do you feel the most strongly about? Hesitating, my inner child answered, home. For the majority of the little life I have lived, all I have searched for is my home. Let me give you some context here. It all started when my parents separated when I was little. I moved to one city, then the other and then back to the previous one. As a child, it was a lot for me to take in. I felt lost, insecure and hurt. Because it felt like the closer I came to my destination, my home, the farther it was taken away from me. While the other kids of my age, having years spent in the same house, were getting familiar with the monsters under their beds, I realized that the monsters in my story were the feelings I mentioned previously. The oblivion, the hurt, the insecurity. All I longed for was a normal home. But little did I realize that normal is different in every story. While it was not normal for the other kids of my age to adapt to so many different surroundings all at once, it had become my routine. And now that I look behind, it has been quite an insightful journey. I felt lost only to be found by the people I now call my best friends. I felt hurt only to express my gratitude for getting so many homes in return for the one that I lost. All the homes filled with love, laughter and safety. I felt insecure only to feel secure in the love I share with the people that feel like home. My kind of normal home. Usually, amongst the chaos, one thing one has constant is their home. And the younger version of myself yearned for it. I wish I could hug her and tell her that she did not miss on anything. Amongst the constant chaos in my life, the one thing that I had going places with me was my home. The home that I thought I never had now felt more like a sense of belonging. Little did I realize that I found my home in the little things around me. It was within me. It was within the people I love. It felt more like the seven cups of coffee that keep you going through an ass busting day. It felt more like the smell of cologne that reminds you of that particular person. It felt like the handwritten letter that still after all these years make you live all the um, timeless memories. It felt like the smell of the ginger and garlic your mother tempers in a curry, which despite following the same recipe, nobody can make. It felt like the amazement you lo get looking at the same sky rearrange its colors every day. It felt like eating your favorite food in the bed while watching your favorite show for the hundredth time. In short, I realized that home is nothing that a mere arrangement of concrete and cement can bring to you. It's the people. Always the people. You find your home in people, that's that.